G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo IdeaPad 3, oh, 330S 5-15iKB. This one came out, if there's a date of manufacture on here, in 2019. And this particular one should have a one terabyte NVMe. And I'm gonna downgrade that to a 256. As it will be just sold as a relatively cheap office, uh, home personal computer. And I don't believe it really needs a one terabyte drive in this particular machine. Or at least at the price point that I'm going to be selling it for. So I'm going to take out all these Phillips head screws, all fairly small ones. And we'll see what else can be changed or upgraded while we're there. Four across the, the front here, which I predict will might be slightly different. Nope. So far all these screws look to be identical. Which for screw management reasons makes it nice and easy, nice and simple. I'll put them aside now. Those aside, see if I can just pry. Yep. Now don't try and reef it too much, as this plastic is known to tear. Just like that. Bugger. A slightly cheaper one to go to sell. Maybe I should have stuck with the pry tool. As I mentioned about tearing, right there, right there. Pretty crap plastic. Uh -huh. The customer had spruced it at a one terabyte hard uh, SSD. This here is not a one terabyte SSD. It is purely a one terabyte hard drive, which runs considerably slower. So I will be changing that. I'm just disconnecting the battery here. I'll also give it a bit, a bit of a dust blowout. We little vapor chamber thing going on over here. Not sure what that's all about there. So we'll probably just take that off quickly and have a quick look and see. As well, potentially there may be a RAM upgrade that could be done here. Not sure, but we'll see. Go that off. What else we got going on here? There we go. And one more just down here. Well enough, this one looks like it needs to come out anyway to change the hard drive. There you go. Oh, we do have a surprise. What have we got? If we undo here, which I'll show you guys how to do. This pull out to the side, that flicks up. And we have Four gig of DDR4, 2666. So if I put that aside, I should have an eight gig that I can put in there. I'll be a bit happier with an eight gig, with, especially with Windows 10 and 11 these days. It eats up that RAM instantly. Take out the NVMe drive here. This wants to lift up. So, walk it out. That's a big thermal pad there. Go, and what do we have here? We have a 128 SK Hynix, and I'm pretty sure I've got a 256 floating around. So we'll upgrade that as well. So what I'm gonna do is just take off this little bracket here, which was silly easy. All it's doing is just clamping it there. Okay. Slightly different on the pin out. Anyway, this should fit into here. I'm just, oh, sorry, I'm just slotting it in. Do take note of the groove. In and down. And one little screw to go in there. Seems like this thermal pad's on the wrong way. We'll proceed on. There we go, screw that in. And I've got some 2133 megahertz RAM, which should go in here just fine. Being an Intel 8th gen, it's really not gonna change much with the performance of it. Do take note of the notch here and here. And we're gonna slide it in and pull it down. So we slide it in here. 
pull it down. There we go. And next up is this hard drive, which I'm just simply going to remove. You could replace it with a larger capacity, change it to an SSD, and I'm going to be happy with that single NVMe. I'm not happy with that thermal pad and the amount of pressure it's applying to it. So I'm going to remove that. And then that looks a bit better. It's not going to get that hot that it's really going to need it. Might be able to put it on that side, but also, as I said, it's probably really not going to need it. Slide this away. If it will let us. Up and back. Two screws on either side. One, two, three, and four. That should mostly break away from the drive now. And then we'll just put that back in there. Those screws can live there. They're not harming anyone. This one's trying to. As I say that. Let's get rid of them. Grab some masking tape and screw those ones in. And there. I should be able to go which way? That way. Tape it under there like that. And put these screws back in. Okay, that one's out of the way. Put this one back on. Now while it's open. While it's open, I will also give that thermal paste, oh, that thermal paste, give the dust in the fan a blowout as well. So it's probably pretty likely it will be necessary. Up here too. I'll give it a dust blowout off camera. And from here, I'm going to reconnect the battery. It should just slide in. I don't want that tabbed up. That must be for an LED keyboard, which this model I'm assuming doesn't have. And next up. We just have to put the back cover back on. Should clip into position in most locations. Right there. And then from there, proceed to put all your Phillips head screws back in once more. Hope this helps with upgrading our IdeaPad 330S. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.